So let's talk for a moment about sutures and the different types of sutures and what happens to them after surgery. There's a lot of different types of sutures out there in terms of the different materials that they're made from as well as the different sizes they're made from. In general, particularly for plastic surgery, what we're usually talking about, most of our stitches will dissolve on their own. So I can tell you, for example, when I close anything with your breast lift or breast reduction, breast augmentation, tummy tuck, I usually close it in three layers. I use a thicker suture down deep, and that's really holding a lot of the force, and that one will dissolve. I use a smaller one as we start moving up into the deeper part of the skin. I use a smaller suture that also dissolves. And then when it comes to the final layer to close the skin, that also dissolves. So any incision that you have on your body that you've had surgery with me, or typically I would say with plastic surgeons, all of those stitches will dissolve and they're all gonna go away. Nothing needs to be removed. Stitches that we use inside the body where we want to make a permanent altercation to the body. So let's look at uh, tummy tuck, for example and we're doing the muscle repair, we're doing what we call an imbrication, where we're bringing those two rectus abdominis muscles together to tighten the stomach back up again after, it's had preg after patients have been pregnant or they've had a lot of weight gain and weight loss. We wanna realign those muscles and we're putting stitches into the fascia. That's that strong material that overlies the muscle that we're gonna to use to hold the muscles together. Those sutures are very different. Those are what we call permanent sutures, meaning they don't dissolve and they stay in the entire time. And so uh, one of the common ones that I use personally to do a muscle repair is proline, which is a artificial material. It doesn't dissolve, it stays there. So it's constantly holding those muscles together after the repair is done. Those don't need to be removed. They stay with you forever, almost all the time. You don't even know they're there. And that's the difference between the permanent suture and a temporary suture or dissolvable suture. So usually in the skin, they're dissolvable. They'll just go away on their own. The ones we use deep in the body to change things, even like a breast lift, for example, sometimes I'm reorganizing the breast tissue inside and I'll use a permanent stitch that's there so that that shape will be maintained. Thank <laughs> you.